Let's have a look at storing coffee. It is important to know that many coffee producers are against storing coffee in the fridge or the freezer. The reason for this is that when you store coffee in such a cold environment, it puts the coffee under unnecessary pressure with slight temperature changes that take place and this in turn affects the moisture content of the coffee. Also, coffee can easily absorb surrounding flavors and aromas and it is therefore not good for the coffee to be in a fridge or freezer next to different types of foods and food products. It is highly recommended to rather store coffee in a cool, dark, dry place, ideally a cupboard without food in it, and always in an airtight container. Let's have a look at some of the simple coffee storage rules. Ideally, coffee should only be ground when it is about to be used. Freshly ground coffee has the best flavor and aroma. Always recommend buying beans before buying ground coffee. Grinding to order is the best way to ensure that the bean's natural flavor is preserved right into the coffee cup. Let's have a look at what spoils coffee and then we can decide on the best practice for storing coffee at our establishment. Understanding how to store coffee means understanding the enemies of coffee. These are the bad guys. There are four main enemies that we should look out for. Firstly, light and sunlight. If beans are exposed to too much sunlight, say perhaps if you leave the coffee in a jar in the sun, they will be gently heated, perhaps for long periods of time. Direct exposure to light will also impact the delicate flavors of the coffee beans, as well as increase the rate at which the coffee goes stale. Remember, we must treat coffee like a perishable good. Secondly, moisture. Moisture affects the coffee bean storage. Keeping your beans dry will help keep them fresh. It will inhibit the growth of molds or bacteria and the sweating process that can occur if the beans are exposed to heat or sunlight. Keeping the beans in the fridge or freezer also exposes your beans to moisture, so this should be avoided at all costs. Thirdly, oxygen and air. The fresh air will naturally react with the complex chemical composition of the coffee beans, especially roasted ones. This produces a gradual deterioration or reduction in the flavor, leaving the beans tasting bland, tasteless and odorless. This is why we need to keep the beans in an airtight container and try to minimize contact with oxygen and air. Finally, the fourth enemy of coffee is heat. Heat is a natural destroyer of the flavors of coffee beans, except when you're actually preparing your coffee. During the preparation, you use a controlled amount of heat for a very specific duration. But if we expose our coffee to inappropriate heat, prior to the use in the coffee machines, it will remove a lot of the flavors you are looking for and add some undesirable flavors. Remember to keep your beans cool when storing them. So much of the way we experience coffee is about the complex flavors and aromas or smells that are available in order for us to enjoy in the cup. All of these enemies of coffee that we've had a look at will prematurely rob a coffee of these flavors before they reach the guest. So remember these four important principles. Store at a cool temperature. Store in a dark place. Store in a dry place. And always store in an airtight container. Good luck at storing your coffee in the best way possible at your establishment.